You are now watching Black Club TV. Right now, right here, we got Boss Kane, uh, chief of the uh, <laughs> mean record. <laughs> I mean, man, everybody using the chief name, so we're going to be yeah. the chief of the mean no records. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So, let the people out here, we got the Block Club TV. Uh, we're doing our on the couch interview right here with Boss Kane. Uh, let the people know what you got going on. You know, what, what's the next move for mean records and what's the next move for Boss Kane? Uh, we let it, shit. We, you know, got the bombs on the way. That'll be out probably early May, late April or something. Shooting videos, getting this internet thing going, you know, and, and just finna start this campaign and, you know, push real hard, you know, like we're supposed to. That's really it, though. Okay. I fuck with Block Club Heavy, you know, Sluggo, we doing it big, so, you know, just be looking for that movement real, real, real soon. Real soon. So they say you got uh, something coming up on the weekend, uh, your, your release party. You want to tell us a little bit about the oh, release yeah. party? Uh, the listening party is March 24th, Saturday, 3 to 6 at Adriana's. Everybody come through, free food, free drinks, all the DJs, bunch of badass women. You know how, you know how we do it. It's definitely going to be mean. Good time. Gift bag, giveaways, the whole now. So, you know, come on down and party with us. We finna get it in. You get exclusive, exclusive listen to the new shit. Bombs, you know, the hottest shit to drop this year. So, you know, come on through, fuck with us. It's going to be a good time. Good luck, good luck. All right, bombs is a uh, the abbreviation for back on my bullshit. Mm -hmm. Can you explain? What, you know, I mean, when people hear the word back on my bullshit, you want some bullshit. Like, so what bullshit <laughs> you back on? That's what we want to know. I mean, it ain't really no, you know, no nothing, nothing bad like that. It's just I've been chilling for a minute, so you know, I've been letting everybody do their thing, seeing what everybody doing. So now, you know. I started most of this East Side shit, all this shit, so not a real back. So I'm here to I'm here to push again, baby, and you know, let these niggas know it is what it is. So shit, I'm on bullshit. Nigga, it ain't it ain't necessarily mean nothing negative. It just mean nigga I'm back pushing, I'm back focused on this music. Cause, you know, I fell off one really doing the music like that for a minute. I was I fell back, so you know, I had a lot of other shit going on. So now I'm back on bullshit. Been in the studio high and man, it's getting it's crazy. It's me. That's all I can say. Okay, now I, I I always hear you guys saying it's mean. Uh, it's mean. I'm mean. We mean. <laughs> everything. We in the good. Everything is mean. <laughs> uh, give me uh the meaning of uh or you know the the direction of mean records in in a, in a few words in a nutshell. Like if you would describe mean records to the, the the people who are don't live in Chicago that do know about it. If you want to describe it to an outside entity such as Vegas or LA or uh, you know New York or something like that, what what would they look forward to if they came to Chicago and wanted to investigate me and Rex? I mean, well, first of all, we spell it M E E, man, and it's really just summing up in a nutshell above average, you know, just like everything we do got to be top notch. Like we don't like half ass and shit, you know what I mean? And we feel like we do everything above average. And if you come to the city and whatever the case is, everybody going to tell you, yeah, them niggas do their thing. And it's mean shit. That's all I can say. Everything is mean. You can see a bad bitch walking down the street and be like, damn, she mean. That just means she above average. She look good. You know how people used to term, use a term like raw and shit like that? We don't use that shit no more. It's mean, man. So it's spelled M-E-E-N and it mean above average. And that's what it is. Okay. Now, we're going to get into some in-depth questions. We got a few <laughs> more questions for you. And we're gonna, we know you got a busy day, so we're going to let you get out of here, sir. When it comes to the outlook on uh, Chicago uh, hip-hop mm -hmm. and uh, the controversial thing that's going on with Chicago hip-hop and the Chicago DJs, what's your take on, on, on the whole perspective of that? Uh... Chicago hip hop, it's, it's kind of trying to come together now, but we've been like a overlooked for so long, you know. Then you got the people who may do make it from Chicago, they don't really like come back and help nobody, uh, you know, help the people up under them get to where they need to be. So, as of right now, I think it's a lot of bullshit music going on in Chicago right now, and it's a lot of decent music. So, 
I think right now it's starting to come together a little more than it, it, it used to be and people, you know, it's kind of starting to shine a light on the city a little bit. But as far as the DJs, I mean, you got some, you got some, man, I don't even know really what to say, shit. You got some that's, that's cool and you got some that's, that's Hollywood and they really don't really, like if you listen to a radio station, Chicago radio station, you don't hear nothing but really down south music and shit like that, which I personally don't really like. And then they give us what? One radio show on Sunday for like two hours or something. But I mean, it is what it is. That's why you gotta put your groundwork in, get up with like the club DJs and shit like that. The real motherfuckers who really gonna fuck with you and your movement and what you got going on and just work with them. Cause it ain't got to the point now, Chicago radio don't even mean shit. So long as you pushing your shit in them clubs and them people rocking with you and, and all that shit, then you'll be good, you know? Okay. Now, um, I see that Mean Records has teamed up with Block Club DJs to form a, a, a citywide movement mm -hmm. uh, as far as letting people know that artists and DJs can get along if given the opportunity and, and the right perspective. Mm -hmm. What's your perspective on that? Like. Uh, DJs and artists, the unification, the importance of unification of the DJs and the artists in the city for the city to grow. Man, I think that's really, that's important. And I think as a DJ, you should want to get to know the artist himself too. Other than just, you know, playing this music or whatever, I think it's kind of important that you actually know that artist and sit down and, you know, talk to that artist and get to know that person. Get to know him as a person. and. As far as the block club thing, you know, it's like real recognized real. You know, been fucking with Sluggo for forever. And, you know, just like a totally 100% genuine real nigga. And, you know, he got, block club got what, 60, 75 DJs or something like that. So, uh, worldwide, not even just Chicago based, like worldwide. So, it's only right, you know, we link up and, and man, we finna take it over, shit. We finna push, push and get to where we need to be, shit. And that's it, that's all. Hey, right, this last question, last but not least, uh, and then we're gonna let you get on out of here. Boss K, the artist, Boss K, uh, you're working on what album now? Bombs, back on my No, shit, what number of album is this? Oh man, this is gonna be the sixth mixtape. Okay, you're working on your sixth mixtape. So after this mixtape, where do we see Boss K, the artist, in the next, we're not gonna even say five years, because at the rate that Chicago's going, we don't even know if people can keep five. <laughs> so we're gonna say in the next two years, which what it takes, basically takes to break a single or break an album or whatever, break an artist takes about a two year run. Mm. So in the next two years, what do we plan to see Boss came from this day, two years from now, back on this couch again? What do we uh, plan to see Boss Cash? We plan to see Boss Kane on top of the game. And just, you know, getting this music, you know, out to the people, not even Chicago based, but worldwide, shit. It's expanding our brand, you know, probably sign a few, couple more artists or whatever the case is. Just expanding the main records brand in itself and shit. And living, shit. Living good, doing our thing, shit. I need that 70, 80,000 to show these niggas out again. I need in on that, so hey, fuck it. Take care of my family, you know, and, and just, and, you know. I ain't know, I don't really, I ain't really big into all the extra shit. I just keep it basic, man. It's just, like I say, on top of the game, doing us, putting on for the city shit. So, that really is what it is. For sure. Last question of the night. What can we locate Boss King? If we can't find him on the streets, <laughs> where can we find him on the net? Well, you can always find me on the streets somewhere. But shit, I'm, uh, you can get in my Twitter, at Boss King, at B-O-S-S-K-A-N-E. Facebook, Boss King. Uh, shit, what other social networks? Uh, Google me, Boss Kane, Google me, Records, YouTube, Boss, everything Boss Kane. Either Boss Kane or me, Records. Shit, look me up. One of the hottest in Chicago, one of the hottest, period, shit. And shit, we living over here, baby. It's me. Appreciate you coming out, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs>